if we were being accommodated who sent the indian army to the lac rahul gandhi didn't send them narendra modi sent them. the largest peace time deployment in our history on the china border and please notice i said china c h i n a external affairs minister s j shankar launches a stinking attack on the congress i try not to be loud i try to <laughs> get my narrative across in a elegant and uh, effective way uh, maybe at time sharper than people may want is he far a day later the congress fires back calling jay shankar a failed foreign minister and tears into the narendra modi government's china policy niji ye jhagda nahi hai main aapke upar koi niji aakshep nahi laga rahi hu lekin ha main ye zarur kehti hu ki aap is desh ke sabse failed foreign minister hai The grand old party on Wednesday gave a long list of what it called were failures of the diplomat turned politician. Indian administration ko apna aadha administration pura ho chuka hai. India mein US ka ambassador nahi hai. Sri Lanka mein Chini interference hai. Bhutan humse dur ho gaya hai. Bangladesh ne Chin ko Cox Bazar mein submarine base banane ko keh diya hai. Bangladesh aaj humse economic parameters mein better kar raha hai. Chahe wo per capita income ho ya GDP growth rate ho. The blistering face off comes in the backdrop of Rahul Gandhi questioning Jay Shankar's understanding of geopolitics. Usko samajhna chahiye. Unki bayanbazi aati rehti hai. Main dekhta hu external affairs minister bolte rehte hain. Kehna nahi chahiye. Magar shayad unko thodi apni samajh gehri karni chahiye. I'm not suggesting I'm the necessarily the most knowledgeable person, but I would uh, have a fairly good self opinion of my understanding of what is out there okay but you know i'm i mean if he has uh, superior knowledge wisdom i'm always, as i said for me life is a learning process yeah. this is in the first time the minister is hitting out at the opposition over foreign policy today you have a, a deployment of the indian army on the china border that we have never had it's done in order to counter chinese deployments which were scaled up uh, uh, massively since 2020 now if we were in denial how is the army out there because the army didn't go there because rahul gandhi asked them to go i mean the army went there because the prime minister of india made you know ordered them to go the charges and counter charges on chinese aggression however have not cleared the air on the extent of encroachment by the neighbor on border areas bureau report india today if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe